Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're going to discuss an important topic in research methodology called sampling. Now let's take an example. We have seen, I mean uh, we have noticed that children who are taking ice creams are falling sick. So we just want to check, check whether this is happening throughout the world. So we make a preposition like if, if children take ice cream, there's a possibility or there is a lot of chance that they fall sick. So we need to understand, we need to do a research to make sure that this is the people are falling sick because they take, they took an ice cream. Okay. So the study can be done, the should is, is supposed to be done in children below the age of 14. Now, how can we do this? Now, leave world. World is such a big number. I mean, children in the world are such a big number. But if you take the entire India, you can see that there are 1.38 billion people, of which 28% of the entire population are children, which means close to 10 crore. So in this case, it is close to impossible that you can go and collect data from all these 28 percentage of 1.38 billion that is close to 10 crore it's clearly impossible i'm not saying possible but it's very difficult so what will we do so what we, the researchers used to do is they take a small sample they take a small number from this entire population and we do a research on that particular population and later we believe we try to extrapolate or we try to say that the characteristics of this small sample population is similar in the main population. Okay, so this particular process is called sampling. Now sampling makes researchers life easy. Otherwise, what, will, what happens is we will have to do the research on the entire population. Okay, so we have two things here. One is census and one is sampling. Now, what is census? Census is something like you are doing the research on all the 10 crore people, 10 crore children. That is what is known as census. Now, you take time to do census. It's a very tedious thing. But uh, on, the, on the contrary, sampling is what we just checked. Now, we are taking only a selective, selective population, selective uh, people from the entire population entire census so uh, if you take census and sample sample is one of a portion of census now we have two to three terminologies that we ought to understand the first one is universe now the universe is a theoretical target population for example the study is like you need to understand if you have ice cream do you fall sick now especially in the case of children so the the theoretically we have to study this in the entire world if you want to make sure, if you want to make a theorem or a preposition, you have to study on the entire world, the kids of the entire world. That is what is the universe. Now the population or the empirical target population or, or in short we call the target population. Since we are not going to study the children of the entire world, we, we might say that the target population could be the children of India. Or if even that is very huge for us or humongous for us, then we will say that the population of people, the, the kids in Kerala. Okay, so that could be the population or the target population. And uh, we may also call it sample frame. Sample frame is the list of the people, the, uh, the list of the entire kids, entire children below the age of 14 in Kerala is the uh, sample frame. Sample frame is a list of all the kids in Kerala. Okay. Now we come to the sample. Sample is from the entire people, um, um, children below 14 in Kerala. We are taking close to, just put an arbitrary number called 1000. We are taking 1000 uh, stu students, uh, um, uh, kids from the entire population of kids in Kerala. Now how do we do that? That is what we are going to discuss in the coming today's as well as in the coming sessions. So how do we do this? This technique by which you take sample from a population is called sampling. And finally, you get the final data. 
once you process the sampling, once you get the sample, you find, you ask the questions and you get the data which is used for analysis in the research. Okay, so you have a population. From the population, you're taking a sample. Now, the target population is the complete set of the objects that possess some common characteristic definition by the sampling criteria established by the researcher, which means population is the group of people who is actually having the characteristics that the researcher is seeking for. Now, in this case, we are checking if the kids fall sick. So here the kids are having a similar characteristics that some of them fall sick, some of them doesn't fall sick. That is what the characteristic is all about here. Now, the major key terms in research methodology, especially in sampling that we encounter are the first one is the sampling unit. Now, it is an element or a unit containing the element. Now, in this case, the sampling unit is one particular child below the age of 14 is the sampling unit. Now, sample, it is the selected elements chosen for a participation in a study. Now, if you have taken 1000 uh, um, kids, then that 1000 kids who are being selected is the sample. Now, sampling. Sampling is the technique that is being used. There are different techniques that we are going to study in the coming webinars. Uh, there is simple random sampling, there is convenient sampling, there is quota sampling, there are different methods. That particular technique by which you use it is called sampling. sampling. Next is sampling frame. Now, when you do some very very clear cut studies when you want to when your result you want to be very pakka it, it ought to be uh, very accurate then you used a methodology called probability sampling now when you do this probability sampling you ought to know the list of the entire um, population now for example we are we have the population of kerala uh, kids below 14 years in the population of kerala the list of the entire students or kids below the age of 14 that particular list is called sampling frame i hope you're getting my point now in the case of online shopping and or uh, for example you're studying about the people who are doing online shopping in cochin city now you need to have the name uh, of all those people who are doing online shopping from cochin city from the borders of the cochin city if you get that list that list is called sampling frame Next, you call the extent. Extent is the geographical boundary. Now here we are doing a study on Cochin City, which means the geographical boundary is the boundary of Cochin City. Now, if you're doing a study on Kerala, the geographical boundary is the extent. And time is the time period in which you're doing the study. Now, when it comes to population, there is something known as target population and accessible population. Now, always you cannot go and study the population because that is a big number. So there is something known as accessible population, uh, which is some something that you can do a research on. For example, you are doing a study on the consumer satisfaction of uh, Royal Enfield Bullet, Royal Enfield. So you would like to do the study on the students of or for example, or the students who are using Royal Enfield. So actually, who is the population? Population is all students, all students. Now, let's put a boundary called Kerala. Now, that could be the population, but you cannot go and do that. So what could be much more funneled, uh, accessible population? You can define something like all students in Kuchin or Kuchin University, students who are doing their studies in Kuchin University who have Royal Enfield. That could be a little more accessible population. Let's take example, like um, you, we need to study on the people who are having AIDS, especially in Cochin City. Now, the population is the uh, people who are having AIDS in Kerala. From that, you are funneling down to an accessible population where you, you study only about the people who are having AIDS in Cochin City. Now, let's also look into this particular aspect. You study about the Mohanlal fans. Now, how do Mohanlal fans and the fandom uh, create uh, a very big vibe in the upcoming movies? So in order to study that, you will have to 
look for all fans of mohanlal which is we we don't know so we you, it's very difficult to get the list of those people but on the contrary if you have if you put little more uh, funneling like all fans of mohanlal who are bachelors that becomes much more accessible that is accessible population okay so i was just trying to understand the difference between target population that is the universe as well as the accessible population okay now we spoke about the population and the population can be something like it could be a census if you take a study on the entire population it is called census and if you are doing a frag on the fraction of uh, the population we call it a sample now sampling can be of two types one is probability and the other one is non probability sampling now what do you mean by probability sampling now if you want your study to be accurate if you want your study to be much more uh, quantitatively a uh, perfect then you have to remove all the errors in sampling for example the biggest error that comes in sampling is the uh, bias for example you you do sample based on your choice on your preference the researcher's preference etc so the population if you take the sample from a population which has equally likely chance now for example i'm being a professor i'm telling like tomorrow we'll have viva to my students now i'm not telling like to whom i'll ask questions so everybody is studying i have the the probability is like every student have the equally likely chance of being asked a question tomorrow that is probability sampling like everybody is getting equally likely chance Now, whereas in non-probability sampling, there is no like equal likely chance. For example, there is something known as convenience sampling. It is the researcher's convenience. So, in that particular case, you cannot say that each and every sample is getting equally likely choice or chance of being selected to the sample. Okay. So, we will discuss about the different types of sampling in the coming webinar. To summarize, today we spoke about what you mean by sampling and we spoke about what is population from population we also understood what is the universe and what is the target population and finally we spoke about the different key terms where we spoke about sampling unit sample sampling techniques sampling frame that is the list extent is the geographical boundary and the time period then we spoke about if you are doing a research on the entire uh, population we call it as census but if you are taking a fragment of it then we call it sampling sampling there are of two types one is probability sampling where there is equally likely chance and the other one is non probability sampling where e each element does not have equally likely chance of being selected okay so thanks for watching my webinar we'll be having more thorough discussion about probability and non probability sampling in the coming webinars thank you very much